What are some of the different things that a business can do to earn that loyalty and maintain it for the long term? I think the key thing is that we all like to be heard, right? We all like to have the opportunity to provide feedback. And the weird thing is, is that customers these days are pretty familiar with feedback mechanisms. They're pretty comfortable sharing information about why they're not getting what they need. So if you provide them with a mechanism where they can provide you with feedback about what's not working, what's wrong, at the point in time, it's actually happening to them, they're going to tell you how to optimize the business and fix your problems. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the real key. It's actually got to be in the moment. Yep. Because for me, I'll give you an example, right? I, I can be waiting in line somewhere. I'm having a frustrating experience. It doesn't feel good. You can measure that in me, right? My blood pressure's going up. I'm getting a little bit freaky about it. And I still push through. I complete the transaction. And at that point in time, I'm experiencing it. I'm willing to take a couple of three minutes to actually a couple of three seconds in some cases to actually tell you what you're doing that's wrong that's not working for me. Mm -hmm. However, the moment I complete the transaction, I'm halfway across the parking lot and that piece of data has evaporated, it's gone, it's off into the ether. You will yep. never capture it again because I'm onto the next bit in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what it is, could be picking the kids up from school, going to a sports game, doing something like that. But it's gone. But it hasn't. It's still in the back of my head. Mm -hmm. So the next time I consider making a purchase, it's back to that point. It's kind of baked into my decision-making process. Mm -hmm. So the ability to give people voice, they call it voice of customer, right? You should call it immediate voice of customer.